In the suburban wilderness of Indiana lurks a strange beast. So there I was, just sitting there minding my own business, when bam, out of nowhere, I saw the strangest, most ugly creature I have ever, and I mean ever, laid my eyes upon. Till that point, I didn't even believe it existed. But now I can say with certainty, Rosie O'Donnell is in fact real. Um, this is about the sighting of a sea creature? Oh yeah! Yeah, I saw him too. <laughs> Rosie was riding him like a horsey. Witnesses say that it is a sea creature over 25 feet long. Is it real or imaginary? Monster Seekers is here to find out. That shot was crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prick. Huh? What was that? I said I'm feeling sick. I think it's the heat. Oh, I could have swore I heard a beep sound. Which seems strange. All right, how's this? Today on Monster Seekers, we are investigating this above-ground swimming pool in suburban Indiana that is allegedly home to a sea monster. The locals have dubbed the creature Indy. Local folklore suggests Indy has been living in this pool for over 200 years. But many critics opposed to Indy's existence are quick to point out that the pool was constructed only 15 years ago. The Monster Seekers team is here to search for evidence of whether this elusive beast is real or not. The investigative team consists of crypto scientist Dr. Comover, biologist Dr. Facenbutt, and animal behaviorist Dr. Wendy Smith, as well as the team's camera operator Drew Happel. Also joining them on the mission is local drunkard Jebediah Grable. You want one? No, I'm working, and it's 8 a.m. Help me move this equipment. Okay, man. I can't believe anyone believes this crap. Yeah, conspiracy nuts and redneck. Oh, look, it's a Yeti. Aw, oh, too bad you didn't have your camera right then. We could have called it a day. We now return to the Monster Seekers team. Dr. Comover will be leading the investigation using a high-tech boat complete with radar and submersibles. While the crew search from the boat, Jebediah will try to fish for the creature. We will also be looking at some eyewitness accounts from locals. It's my first day on the job. I don't believe in any of this crap, but student loans are piling up and Gavin, the editor, got me this job. Ah! Sure hope stupidity isn't contagious. Hey, where's that guy with the artist rendering? He left earlier. It's in the envelope. Well, get it out so we can use it. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What? What is this crap? It's too late to get a new one. Use it. Monster Seekers has this exclusive, never-before-seen artist rendering of what eyewitnesses have been seeing lurking in the calm waters of this Indiana pool. 
The creature is said to be between 20 and 30 feet long and weigh over two tons. Yep, that's definitely what I saw. Right, right, I'd been drinking a fifth of whiskey when I drunkenly stumbled into my neighbor's backyard. I needed a place to throw up, so I went to their pool. <laughs> and there, oh man, I saw the creature. This man here is one of the most credible witnesses I have ever seen. The man is an airplane pilot. He is a person people trust with their lives. Even the biggest skeptics can't find a flaw in his testimony. I remind believing it couldn't be real. Then the darndest thing happened. It shapeshifted to a, a transgender midget on a pony. Indy is sneaky. With his shapeshifting powers, he could be hiding in plain sight. Jebediah Grable has been attempting to capture Indy for over 10 years. He believes today may be the day. How do you plan on catching the sea creature? I plan to catch Indy with a standard fishing rod. No one knows the diet of Indy, so I've chosen to bait it with Vienna sausages. With any luck, the creature won't be able to resist the mouth-watering taste of the hot dogs. While Jebediah is off trying to catch the creature, Dr. Comover will try to find evidence using his boat. From within the boat, I hope to use floor scanning radar, underwater cameras, and scuba divers to search for evidence of this elusive creature. We are also going to try something never before attempted. We're going to use whale calls to hopefully pique the creature's interest and get it to come to us. On board the USS Big Boat, Dr. Comover is busy searching for the sea creatures said to inhabit this Indiana swimming pool. The team's first attempt was to use a scuba diver to get a look under the murky chlorine water. Unfortunately, he missed his landing and had to be hospitalized. While the others tend to Dr. Faisenbutt, we'll check in on Jebediah. It's just a waiting game now. <laughs> just a matter of time till he can no longer resist this mouth-watering Frankfurt. Then I'll have him. Fishing makes a man hungry, so I cleverly created this contraction to cook me a hot dog. Everyone asks, Jeb, is it safe? Well, doggone, of course it's safe. Just like a gun. In the right hands, it's safe. Dr. Comover and his crew are now attempting to use an underwater camera to catch a glimpse of this creature. We must be careful. This is an expensive piece of equipment. Indy is a very reclusive creature. Many people try to discredit his existence, saying that to maintain a population, there need to be like 500 creatures as well as an abundant food supply. Frankly, that's all bull. Everyone knows the pool is linked to an alternate dimension through a wormhole. Is this picture taken from the pool's bottom proof of Indy's existence? Here, clearly, you can see the head. And this is the tail. Looks like a leaf to me. Come on, we're scientists. We don't jump to wild conclusions. There is absolutely no evidence suggesting it's a leaf. I mean, what are the chances of a leaf even ending up in this pool? It's astronomical. Here at Monster Seekers, the crew is hunting for a creature nicknamed Indy that is said to inhabit this above ground pool. This man, Jebediah Grable, is attempting to fish for the creature. Oh. Uh, oh, oh I, I got something. I, I got something. It's big. Mmm, I love Frankfurters.
Look, it's Free Willy. I see Free Willy. That's a large killer whale. On board the USS Big Boat, Dr. Comover is attempting something no one has ever tried before. Get the creature's attention by using whale calls. We'll check in later to see how it goes. How can you put up with the stupidity of this job? You get used to it. Oh my god! It looks like things haven't gone quite to plan for Dr. Comover and his crew. Hours have passed, but no calling has gone on between the whale and Indy. Today, it seems that Indy has managed to elude the team. But with luck, eventually the proof will be found. But I like men. A hole is a hole, son. A hole is.